With the news of the replacement of the route to Chengdu with a new route serving New Orleans, why is the government putting the commercial interests of an expensive airport whose primary passengers are tourists ahead of the health and quality of life of 300,000 people, the cost to passengers and the cost to the taxpayer? Hey. Well, Mr Speaker, first of all, I've talked to the, uh, the boss of IAG, uh, Bruce was his parent company, about the Chengdu decision. They, of course, have a number of routes to Asia and to China, have simply taken a commercial decision that this one has not proved viable. Um, but look, Mr Speaker, the issue is not about an individual route, it's about connectivity of the future, the opportunity to open up new opportunities. It won't always be British Airways that opens those routes, it'll be other airlines that choose to fly from developing markets to the United Kingdom. Uh, and you know, it is, it is those opportunities that we will need for the future. And that is why we believe that extra expansion is necessary. If we're going to open up new trading opportunities around the world, we have to have the capacity to yeah. offer those new links. And when you just look at the price a slot trades at, at Heathrow Airport, you realise that actually demand far exceeds supply.